here for a couple of days in Ukraine, uh, you're looking at the potential of the global cities. So what you have observed here, what are the things uh, which were interesting for you here in Ukraine? Uh, I have been uh, uh, two days in Ukraine, uh, where I see is uh, a country that has huge history, uh, extraordinary piece of architecture, uh, great public spaces, extraordinary people, uh, great potential. Uh, remarkable achievements the last three years. Uh, I am aware of the reforms that the country is uh, uh, process of developing uh, that I, I'm sure it will have huge impact in terms of uh, uh, foreign investment in the coming years to the country. Um, I am very interested in, in the opportunities of how architecture and infrastructure can contribute to build the identity of Ukraine in the 21st century. Uh, and I take that as a reference, the project we are building in Mexico, the new airport, is the biggest airport on construction in the Americas for 68 million passengers, uh, $4 billion single terminal in a master plan of 10 billion. And it's, uh, it's a good example of seeing how the government not only do the reforms that are sometimes uh, intangible, abstract, uh, invisible, uh, but also uh, pursue projects that uh, can also uh, connect with the history of the country and project it to the future. And I think that's a huge potential that exists in Ukraine, how you can actually build with architecture and with infrastructure uh, the identity of the future. No? Do you think you're looking at this creating hubs? It depends on the, you know, the will of the person. Can you really create this kind of new place of connection in the middle of nowhere, in the place which hadn't been you know, popular before? Uh, does it depend on just on the investment, that you really like start something and then uh, it's enough to be devoted, to work hard, and all of, su all of a sudden somewhere, in, like in place Ukraine or somewhere else, create a totally new uh, you know, connection, global spot? On what it depends? Yeah, I think the, the world is changing so fast and uh, with artificial intelligence and with uh, the progress of technologies, I think the new paradigms of uh, what was impossible to happen in the 20th century will happen in the 21. So, uh, uh, meaning that in terms of traditional urbanism, you have already the developments of the main cities, of course, but uh, I see huge potential of how Ukraine can, for example, build a new city dedicated exclusively to IT and try to become a new hub and try to create a new uh, international model of how you can create a sustainable city. So that's, for example, one opportunity. Another opportunity is to rethink all the airport systems. Uh, another opportunity is to think on the ports. Another opportunity is to think of how an iconic building can become the postcard or the image of how Ukraine is a new country. Because uh, if I go to Google and I say Ukraine, what I see is maps of Ukraine and I see old buildings and I see uh, beautiful aspects of your very diverse old culture. And, but it's the past. But it's still not associated with something new. And what uh, is the biggest challenge of Ukraine is how you can actually do something that uh, creates an international image of a new Ukraine. What would be your advice and direction to think, especially in terms of the architecture? We have this heritage of the Soviet architecture. Mm -hmm. It's not just Ukraine. It's, you know, from starting from Ukraine to the Far East in Russia, where you have these gray buildings. And mm -hmm. somehow the, when you see the, the younger architects, they, they, you know, they be the, they building the higher buildings with glass. It looks a bit more modern, <laughs> but yes. it's not really the change of thinking. So yeah. it would be where to think. Well, as, a, as an architect, uh, I see that the really old architecture uh, is always connected with the context. So, uh, uh, for example, religious building of maybe 15 centuries ago, he has his own identity connected with the local context. As you go to modernity, then, of course, uh, you see a lot of uh, influence of, uh, of Russia and very uh, uh, clean uh, buildings that we call them modern. But we are far away from modernity. Modernity was the conscience of post-war. This was the 40s and 50s. This was 60 years ago. The reality is that today young architects are building a lot of post-modern, late uh, architecture that is driven by developers. And it's only interested in solving uh, business. It's not really solving anything uh, in terms of uh, culture, in terms of a quality of uh, how Ukraine can actually build its own identity. So all the more recent buildings, what you see is basically the replica of, of uh, commercial buildings uh, everywhere in the world that is based on real estate business. So, so I, I sell you X amount of square meters uh, to, the, uh, to the market 
and is not going to contribute anything to the city. So uh, I believe that there's a, if there's a vision and if there's all this political will, there is also an opportunity of using that will and that vision to contribute of how you build the identity of Ukraine for the 21 century. And finally, uh, we looked at some of your projects, mm -hmm. the gorgeous, beautiful, but if you look at them, they are very, you know, they are not cheap. They are, there are very huge investment on them. If you look at the museum and the airport and like, uh, Ukraine is also the country where it's not Qatar, it's not something, you know, like that, that there would be huge, you know, billions invested into the infrastructure. Um, with, your, uh, with your experience in Mexico, which is also the country where you have, you know, the high inequality, extremely rich mm. people and, you know, the, the mm. regions, mm. Uh, how to build on that, how to look at maybe low cost projects and to if you if you speak about the the development of the country mm -hmm. i see infrastructure as a great opportunity to boost development so it's a responsibility to build infrastructure uh, and the cost of infrastructure is related with its scale uh, so they are not cheap projects they are important projects because they have the the vision to solve important projects of the society but also the, the impact is a very important impact. So they can create thousands of jobs. They can create billions of dollars of, of revenue. They can create a, a new market. They can develop uh, the tourism and the economy and they can reduce poverty. So I really see that architecture and uh, infrastructural projects are opportunities to actually solve important problems as Ukraine is working on them but not only to solve them from the point of view of engineering, not only solving the quantitative aspects of the infrastructure, but taking that opportunity to build uh, with architectural quality uh, a difference. Because you can build the same projects and become invisible, a replica, no identity, and you are not solving the biggest challenge that you have. That is to, to project a country and to become attractive to the foreign capital, foreign investment, there is a new country. You need to project that. So that's part of the challenge that Ukraine have now.